The Panama Canal is the most important waterways on Earth. It turns this journey into this. And it brings United States closer to both Europe and Asia. The marvel that is the Panama Canal is both narrow and short, and yet every year 14,600 ships pass through its lock. So let's find out its history and how it works. Canals have existed in some capacity for nearly all of human history, as traveling by boat was one of the most ancient modes of transport, it's no wonder that ancient engineers figure out a way to connect two bodies of water together creating new more efficient shipping routes. However the construction of Suez Canal in 1869, set a new precedent for what was possible a pathway connecting two seas together with the Mediterranean Sea and Red Sea now connected. Governments throughout the West set their sights on connecting two even bigger water bodies together, the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. During the California Gold Rush of mid-19th century, Panama was often used as a shortcut for shipping goods from New York to California. Ships would either dock on Pacific or Atlantic side, and transport their goods across what is now Panama. Eventually a railroad was built to make the shortcut more efficient. The French had different plans though, in 1881 work began on building a sea-level canal similar to Egypt's Suez Canal, however combination of poor planning and inefficient design, led to France failing to make any meaningful headway into constructing a canal. After significant worker casualties due to illness, floods, and poor management, the US took over construction in 1904, Chief Engineer John Frank Stevens took one look at the geography and instantly knew why the French had failed. A sea-level canal was simply not possible, thus work began on the creation of the world's then largest artificial lake, Gadden Lake. By damming the nearby Chagres River, engineers created the artificial lake to function as a water reservoir system, 85 feet above sea level. This would work in conjunction with a series of canal locks, to raise and lower ship as needed, as they pass through canal. Further expansion projects would then, ensue as the ship traffic passing through the canal steadily increased throughout the years. So how does the Panama Canal works? As a cargo boat nears the canal's approach channels from the sea, several tugboats comes to greet it. The tugboats attach a tow line to the cargo ship, and move them into alignment with the canal lock's narrow entrance. Once the cargo ship is firmly within a locks, a tugboat remains behind to keep it in place. The lock gate behind it then shuts, while the lock gate ahead gradually opens, displacing water at steady pace, thus raising the ship so it can then enter the next lock, where it eventually joined Gadden Lake. Ships are protected by rubber fenders installed along the lock's side, preventing them from scraping or chafing as they pass through. They then cross Gatton Lake, towards a different set of locks on the other side, where the process is repeated. It is crucial for this process to be gradual, as this keeps the water flowing at a manageable rate. The average amount of time, it takes for a ship to pass through the Panama Canal is about 11 hours, with most of that time spent waiting for other ships to pass. As the canal locks function, gates for ships to pass through, building additional locks was the first order of business, when the Panama Canal was expanded during the late 2000s. As of 2021, the Panama Canal features four separate sets of canal locks for ship to pass through, the Gatun, and Agua Clara locks facing the Atlantic Ocean, Kakoli, and Miraflores locks facing Pacific Ocean. The original locks measured 110 feet wide and 1050 feet long and, could fit ships up to 965 feet in length and 60 feet in beam. Ships built with specifications that would fit through canal, were dubbed Panamax class ships. They could fit up to 5,000 standard shipping containers on board, while this may seem like huge amount of cargo, this figure is dwarfed by the additional capacity granted by the canal's newer bigger locks. With the construction of new locks, new Panamax or Nea Panamax class ships could accommodate up to 13,000 containers. While the Panama Canal has yet to face blockage, similar to Suez Canal mishap earlier this year, maintenance has been an ongoing issue. The estimated annual cost to maintain it has been quoted to be as high as $350 million. Engineers are constantly fighting natural phenomena such as erosion, landslides, just to keep canal intact. Over its century of service, the Panama Canal has ferried an innumerable amount of cargo between its narrow straits, chance are, Many of things you own have found themselves on a ship passing through Panama Canal at one point. Here's to hoping this marvelous feat of engineering lasts hundreds years more.